How's it going guys? Welcome to the second video of my channel. Today I'll be talking about the custom tactics and formations that I used to finish 27 wins out of 30 in the Foot Champions Weekend League. So what are we waiting for? Let's just get started. So guys, uh, this is the team that I used to finish 27 wins in the Weekend League. Uh, that's an Elite 1 rank and we confirmed our uh, foot verification as well which is I'm extremely happy about that this is the team that I use so we'll just quickly get on to talking about it uh, De Stegen is the best goalkeeper in the game uh, hands down about it Ramos uh, untradeable I got him before the game came out so he's always been there since the start as you guys can see he's played 660 games for me uh, PK another untradeable gives that strong link to um, uh, Ramos and he's been really solid for me but he's definitely I'm gonna upgrade to somebody who's faster than PK Samedo uh, another OP right back in the game Mendy 5 star weak foot 4 star skill most good very good attacking fullback uh, you guys can go with him or Jordi Alba depending upon the team that you have and talking about Paulinho Paulinho is very good I think if you did his SBC uh, great value and he's been so so good he's a complete midfielder and he's he's very good in the game so if you have him then definitely do not keep him on the bench use him from the start uh, now coming to Patrick Vieira he is so good he's so so good I bought him I sold off Messi I got Dembele and I got uh, Mbappe and Vieira for them and they've been so good for me I can't even tell you guys uh, you guys will see it in the highlights uh, following this uh, and uh, Ben Yedder, 5 star weak foot guys, he's very good in the box. If you don't have Dalglish or Eusebio, he's he's the third guy that comes in the list in my opinion and he's more agile than Son, gives that chemistry to Neymar and Mbappe so yeah why not just uh, try Ben Yedder out, he's been so good for me. Neymar, hands down the best player in the game. For me, after, after the patch they've uh, reduced the effectiveness of Messi so Neymar at Cam. 5 star weak foot, 5 star skill moves, he's just so so good. Uh, coming to Mbappe, really fast, he's just so good on the wing, he doesn't need an introduction, you guys all know about him, just play him on the wings, uh, he's not that effective as a striker. Mm -hmm. Got, getting into the uh, custom tactics of the game, uh, I straight away switched to 4-2-3-1 in game as I start ultra defensive, uh, balanced, 4 uh, width, 3 depth and uh, attacking is also balanced, uh, 4 width, 5 and players in the box, 2 corners, 2 free kicks. Uh, don't go for like too high on corners and free kicks otherwise you'll be vulnerable to counter attacks. The instructions are just stay forward on Ben Yedder. Neymar should be free roam and get into the box free roam because Neymar gets into spaces which is really good and you should always try and have a cam who's getting into different places in the middle. Uh, in the attacking third, Dembele and uh, Mbappe on the wings. Don't touch any instructions according to me, they're just fine. Uh, fullbacks, Mendy stay back and Sumedo stay back. Uh, Patrick Vieira stay back, our center. Paulinho cut passing lanes, uh, stay back while attacking and cover center. Paulinho is very good at cutting the uh, passing lanes. I would not recommend to keep cut passing lanes on both the CDMs. Uh, now getting into uh, 4 triple 2, this is the formation that I use to attack if I'm not able to click it 4 to 3 1. Uh, balanced width is 4, depth is 4. Um, Depth, uh, depth is a little higher because you need to go up and attack. Uh, width is 4, uh, players in the box are 5, a little higher because uh, you need you need to attack, you need to attack from the wings in 4 triple 2 and players like Mbappe and Dembele will just give you that. Uh, instructions would be both the strikers would be on stay forward and not attacking runs. The reason I haven't done getting behind on either of them or one of them whatever is the fact that is uh, people play drop back it's better that you have your strikers coming down for the ball There's, it's pointless for them to just keep running behind the strike behind the defenders it's not going to work out uh, both cams not touching any instructions on them Paulinho we are our same defense is the same uh, coming to 4-4-2 this is more advanced attacking version of my game I want more width if my opponent is playing a narrow formation so 4 width 4 depth uh, Width is less because I want my players to come, uh, come take the ball closer to the uh, midfielders and then open wide to attack. So if you increase the width too high, it, it's just going to create a problem because you won't be able to pass in the middle at all. Uh, and uh, rest everything else is the same instructions. Well in this, I have put one get in behind because it's a wider formation. So in, even if my striker goes out, my uh, wingers are going to come in and uh, help out in the center. Uh, nothing uh, doing to the wingers, uh, 
Patrick Vieira and Paulinho are the same, Mendy and Semedo are just the same. Coming to ultra attacking 4 1 2 1 2, this is the formation that I use if I'm down, if I'm losing, if I'm not able to click that wide formation. So I want to play some quick passes because the opponent is really good at holding the ball and the wings. I would rather go for pressure after possession loss and change it to constant pressure if I'm uh, two goals or three goals down. Uh, width is 5, depth is 5, higher because obviously you need to push up, you need your width because your full backs are attacking. Uh, width and attacking is less because you want your midfielders closer, so that's the difference between the attacking width and the defensive width. Players in the box would be 6 in this opinion because you want more players just to like all out attack. And instructions in this case would be, one of the strikers would be get in behind which would probably be Mbappe in this case. Neymar at cam is the best possible scenario because no other player can play cam in this formation. Osman Dembele, get forward, cover wing because you want to attack, you want somebody from the midfield to run, make those forward runs. We are a cut passing lanes in this case and Paulinho since he's good at attacking also his shooting stats are very good. I would suggest for you to just keep him at RCM. Uh, full backs, just a small change, overlap because when you're losing you need those overlapping runs. Now these were the custom tactics guys, now I hope you enjoy the highlights because uh, it's, it's, it's been put down really well for you guys. So guys, these are the highlights of my weekend league. Now we'll be talking a bit through about my gameplay and how how the weekend league went. So a couple of games I haven't included in the start as they were just not that important. Uh, there's just a couple of rage quits and stuff. So now we start off with this particular game. Now uh, coming to a few things that I would like to share with you guys is the fact that how dominant how dominant my midfield was. Now in these clips. There will be instances where you will be seeing the midfield build up and how the strikers, how I converted the chances. It's all because of this midfield pair that you see of Paulinho and Vieira. Now as you guys can see Neymar. Now let's firstly talk about Neymar. Guys he's in my opinion the best cam in the game at the moment. The best gold card as a cam you can play. Because Messi after the patch is not that effective. Trust me, go for Neymar, he's been so so good for me. Now coming to talking about the whole attacking options that I have now. Mbappe, Neymar, Veneta and Dembele. Out of 4 of these, 3 of them have 5 star weak foot. Which is absolutely amazing and 3 of them have 5 star uh, skill moves. So as you guys can see the advantage I have in terms of attacking, the, the options that I have to just turn and twist anywhere that I want inside the D box. As you guys can see, a simple step over from Neymar, the keeper is beaten and bam, it's a goal. It's it's just that simple and you'll get rage quits like that. Talking about, you know, how the build up now, this, this instance, look at the midfield, look how well my CDMs are positioned. Vieira, Paulinho, one of them always stays back, one of them always helps me give that support at the end so that at, at the back so that I can go forward and I can attack freely I don't have to worry about anything Viera, the best part about him, he comes forward now let's talk about how crucial wing play is like I said in my last video guys no matter what the patch comes wing play is so crucial because if there's a drawback one depth opponent you just cannot cannot attack from the center always you need the width you need that space creation on on you know edge of the box or anywhere on the wings because without that it just won't click you won't be able to pass around you need to switch up you need to try new things that's the most important part now i'll i'll talk about five different things five different things now and i'll take them step by step okay first is how you have to dribble using the left stick now left stick on the controller is very important i'll show it to you guys this is the controller in in front of me the left stick how important it is to dribble and not press R2 okay the R2 is the sprint button try to use it as ma as less as possible inside the D box only use it on the wings or when you're trying to beat your opponent when you have enough space just use the left stick to dribble okay that is the, the most crucial part because if you dribble using that you will you will be rewarded you will create those chances second first time fakes as you guys can see <laughs> That was like a stupid chance, uh, just hit the post twice, but yeah, like I was saying, as you guys can see, the first time fakes are so, so important in this game, guys. Neymar, Mbappe, Ben Yedder, all these agile players, Dembele, you need to use them, you need to do those first time fakes, because 
they turned so well they turned without any sorts any sort of worry now coming to the third point guys the most important the most important is to have an eye for for the goal now what happens is when you play too much and has happened to me so many times because of which i have had to take a break from fifa to clear my mind there's a there's a term called creative block you need to take that out okay you need to relax and play you need to always have an eye for goal you need to have an eye for spaces so if you don't have an eye for goal you will not create chances you will get too confused with the same attacking patterns this is a mistake i learned from so i would definitely want to tell you guys don't make that mistake now coming to the fourth point guys the most this is one of the most crucial aspects of the game and the fact that it's the l1 dribbling i spoke to you guys about the left stick dribbling now l1 dribbling is also very important now on the control i'll show it to you guys l1 is this button with the left analog right above that as you guys can see it's right here it's right here so you press that and when you dribble it's called the uh straight dribbling okay straight dribbling is so crucial in this game because you have it's like a micro dribbling like you you know you take smaller steps you take smaller dribbles across the defender and you just try to get away with it now as you guys can see in the clip using straight dribbling is so so important just to come back take a step have a look now fifth point in terms of attacking drag backs drag backs are my favorite in the game drag backs is something that opens the game up for you opens the attack up for you 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 have so many options guys do a drive back just stop take the ball just just open up your view so so important and i'm this, this is something that i'm only talking in terms of attacking okay drag back is very essential it just helps you now as you guys can see in this goal this is my one of my favorite goals look at that drive back simple i mean you'll you'll create so many chances that that's a proper footballing genius by dembele i mean he just dribbled past the opponents another aspect i would like to talk about is the skills now skills you have to master them the reason i'm not going to talk in detail about them is because i'll make a separate video for the basic skills because it takes time it takes a lot of time to master them now simple as it is you just use these simple skills drag back ball rolls simple heel to heels you'll get the goals now first time shots in this game are not working guys do not try that okay now you may not see a lot of clips in terms of defending in this video probably not at all because i want you to guys to see the attacking gameplay and it's as simple like if you guys can see i mean one of the aspects is that those first time shots you, as you guys can see neymar in front of the goal he missed it yeah don't try first time shots now the build up play a lot of you have been asking me how do you build up the play a build up starts from my full backs guys this is real life football i used to play semi premi for semi pro football <laughs> so i had to you know think from that real perspective real football perspective because once you do that it opens up your game so much it opens up your game widely immensely any word you pick it's there use your full backs use your cdms build your play up now this is a perfect example look at this game okay, this was really tough game really tough opponent he scored my defense was really shabby this game only only a couple of games my defense was really shabby and look at the drag backs that i'm doing look at the composure now look at that first time boom just have an eye like i said have an eye for goal and look at this goal now simple create a chance goal sometimes you don't even need to do a skill yeah just just don't overdo it this is another point i want to talk to you guys about do not overdo it wing play crossing the ball squaring it first time this all starts and the one point that i started talking about is my attacking full backs full backs are so essential now this guy he has such a good team and he has beaten me in rivals i've beaten him i think once or twice but this was the toughest game of my weekend league yeah because of his team and the, you know how good the player is now we got the first blood even in the second chance look look at benyada look at the composure that extra move that is all l1 dribbling l1 dribbling left stick dribbling because if you don't do that you can't you can't just press r to and run and now we can see that a 45th minute in this game guys make sure use that your advantage now i can see that a 45th minute goal but i scored also 45th minute a lot of 45th minute goals so make sure 45th 90 it's a sad thing that it's still there in the game but it is what it is you make sure you make sure you exploit that now this goal this game was so tough we got very lucky there and it's had to because if i didn't win this the last game that i lost which is the 28th you know the, the 30th game 
that was supposed to be my 28th win but I lost on pens. So if I would have messed up in this game, knowing that he's a tough opponent, I would have not finished 27. See out games, look at that, look at the chance. And the reason I shushed him was I was under pressure, no hate against anybody, <laughs> no hate against the guy, I was just under pressure and he's just he just keeps the ball too much so that's the reason I just, you know, I was under pressure and I just let it out. Now another top opponent you guys must have seen in the previous video as well, I was very fortunate to <laughs> have been awarded with this because he missed a simple chance and we took advantage. Look at that, simple drag back, simple fake, goal. Guys, I know it's difficult to do, I know you won't get it for the first time, it's all about the muscle memory. Keep, keep practicing, basic skills, I'll make a video of that, you guys, I'm sure you guys will definitely enjoy it. Now, this is the guy that we lost to previously, the reason I haven't put it in that video is because it was a, it was a very, uh, it was a very complicated game and uh, I just didn't think it was supposed to be on the video. In this guy, as you can see, he's a, he's a good opponent and uh, we had to wait till what, the... 78th minute to get that chance, 79th minute we scored the goal and every game was a fight from here on and because I think this was the 23rd, 24th game, this was the L Heat category that we had already reached into. So guys, seeing out the game, now last video I talked about composure and I will repeat again and I'll just repeat it once, composure is key, if you stay composed you will finish all your chances, don't rush. This, the mechanics of this game doesn't don't allow you to just score blinders, to score you know goals like how it used to go in FIFA 19. No goals won't go. Chances like that you won't be able to convert them. Use the wing play. See so many goals have converted Mbappe from the wing. Just look at Mbappe in this case. He just runs. He's flash. He just runs. Make him run. Look at that. Now he's gonna push Ramos. Look at that. He he somehow survived it. And he went ahead and passed it to Benyeda. He just had to score a tap in. Guys, important things. Keep it in your mind. Use is the most important thing. Use every player's speciality to the best of your advantage. Benyeda, 5 star weak foot. Neymar, 5 star skill moves. 5 star weak foot. Mbappe, speed. 5 star skill moves. Dembele, 5 star skill moves. 5 star weak foot. Speed. Vieira, strength. You know. Tackling. Paulinho. Agility, quick passing lanes, you know, cut passing lanes and how, how you how you move. That's an instruction, but the way, the, what I mean to say is, I use him as your, you know, box-to-box -box midfielder, basically. Now about this game, this was really tough. This was a really tough game. And this is the game that I finished 27 with. Just look at this game, guys. He scored the first goal. I didn't know how that went in. I don't know how my defense opened up. But I had to wait till the 87th minute, guys. 87th. Look at the composure, okay? Just look at me. I... I was so under so much of pressure. Just imagine, 27th. You know, you, you need that 27th win, and I took it to extra time. I had to keep so much of my composure. Took a simple turn from Benyeda. Now turning is another aspect. You need to be very sure about where you turn, and wherever you turn, it has to be into an open space. I know it's difficult to predict where the opponent is going to go and tackle, but make sure that you turn at the right areas. If you do so, you will not have a problem, guys. That's how we finished 27. And this is how things ended up. And I'm telling you guys, it was so so good to finish 27. I can't even tell you. I have never been uh, under so much of pressure to finish 27 because I have some connection issues that I have to deal with. But yet we managed to do it and I'm so glad to share this video with you guys. And I'm pretty sure there are some people who are learning FIFA. There are some players who are like my friends that they, they want to learn more about FIFA. This is just like a highlights video and you guys can learn, you guys can help me learn, you guys can tell me in the comments below how you feel about the video. Trust me. That's how we grow together, right? Every video I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be telling you guys, this is how we grow together, helping each other out, growing the community, and just pushing for those crucial wins, guys. So these are the basic tips. A couple of basic tips quickly. Stay composed. Be aggressive. Keep your cool. Do not take Weekend League too seriously in your head, because if you don't do that, if you play all chill, you'll be relaxed, you'll play really, really well. And trust me guys, nobody's gonna stop you from getting that elite one position. A lot of talented players in India who can get that rank, maybe even better. A couple of guys have got 29, one guy has got 30 and 0 already, and I'm pushing for that 30 and 0. Could have been 30 and 0 this weekend if I wouldn't have had those silly losses. But anyway guys, as you guys can see, just be yourself. 
play FIFA freely. I know the game is pretty in a very bad state right now, but it's gonna just help you guys and it's gonna help you guys so so much this video. I really hope it does and I hope we reach a couple of thousand views on this video, maybe three, maybe four, I don't know. But yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys can share it. Drop a like, do subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Until next time, peace out.